welcome back to our May 2016 edition of Community Focus. Our next guests are Dot Hornsby and Bonnie McManus with the Midland Community Aviation Discovery Area. Welcome to our show, ladies. Thank, Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Um, Dot, please tell mm -hmm. us about the Midland mm -hmm. Community Aviation Discovery Area. Okay, I'll start off with our Midland Community Aviation Discovery Area is an area at the Barstow Airport. It's an outdoor area and we develop it to be a welcoming community area for individuals, groups to come out and maybe they might just um, view airplanes from our raised berm there. They might have a picnic under our outdoor classroom and hopefully with all our educational displays they'll come out and learn much more about the aviation world and so we just want to be sure that everyone knows it's a public place. It was a vacant piece of ground and on June 5th we're going to have the dedication a Sunday afternoon from 2 to 4 and all of our uh, picnic tables and dis educational display things should be in place by then. Well who, um, who founded the, uh, this organization and why? A wonderful, wonderful committee, which Bonnie is part of. Uh -huh. This is strictly a volunteer effort. We've been working our committee, our talented committee. It's been working for over two years. And I want everyone to know that we took no tax money or public funds. Uh -huh. Our committee has raised the funds, thanks to Bonnie. So it's really this dedicated committee that's been working for two years. And we had lots and lots of meetings and had to go through a lot of um, jumping through hoops and so forth to get there, but our dedication is on schedule and we're inviting the public to come. That sounds great. Now you said you have educational display, displays, a pavilion, um, and some activities, and what's this with the plane? You got a plane out there? We the have kids? a Cessna 150 that's been refurbished by our local EAA, uh -huh. and uh, people will be able to have access to that, and uh, when we have somebody there to supervise it, they'll be able to, to get in it. Kids can get in the pilot seat and oh. so forth, but they have some tough riders. I think one of the things that I find really great is that kids could come out to the airport before, but it wasn't that safe because mm -hmm. there wasn't fencing. And now there's a very defined area that's going to be safe for kids, and actually people of all abilities will be able to access this. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah we're excited about that because be, to be able to touch and sit in a real airplane mm -hmm. has got to be a thrill, no matter what age you are. Oh, certainly. And it's not just sitting in it. We're going to explain how the different controls work, and so we're excited about this plane that we yeah. do have it out oh, there. Oh, good. And now, who do who do you expect to make use <laughs> of this area, and how 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 would they do that? Well, we've been lucky enough to get the support of uh, Dr. Shero for the Middle Public Schools. He wrote a beautiful letter for our grants mm -hmm. and uh, with all the STEM, the science, technology, engineering, and math, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good tie-in with that. So he's mm -hmm. he's saying we will have classrooms out there. We've had uh, scout troops and church groups and all different kinds of people that come out mm -hmm. and with this fresh air classroom there's going to be uh, a sound system where they can hear weather reports and they can hear terminal to pilot conversations. Oh that's got to be exciting. Mm -hmm. I think I think the kids will love it. Yes. They really do. Now let's talk about the dedication uh, ceremony itself. Tell us who, what, where, and when this is going mm -hmm. to be held. Well, it's Sunday, June the 5th. Public is invited. Mm -hmm. There'll be a brief ceremony at 2.30, and we will have limited children's activities that day. So we're inviting families and just the public to come out and see what we're about. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have some speakers uh, you mentioned to me before. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, the mayor, Maureen Donker, is coming, uh, oh, Jim Pollock, uh, Brian McManus, who's with the city, mm -hmm. and Jim Cordes, who's the chair of our committee. Oh, good, good. Well, yeah. it sounds like a very nice uh, nice event. Could, could I be sure that we get in about our educational boards? Absolutely. Please We're tell us about We're going to have those. six educational boards, or the park-style three-by-two boards uh -huh. that will talk about the history of aviation here in Midland. Uh, another board will be what enables an airplane to fly. So some scientific information that we will have people there to explain what you know the Bernoulli principle is and so forth. Oh, wonderful. And we'll have another board that will be parts of an airplane, instruments of an airplane, communication. So there's a ton of information there. 
if you bring a classroom out that we could spend a whole lesson on one board. Mm -hmm. And then also we're going to have a 12 foot diameter compass rose on the ground where we'll have the magnetic headings, latitude, longitude. There's so much out there that a classroom could come out there and have many, many lessons. Oh, and, and it sounds the, very exciting. The mm -hmm. QR codes mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the plaques also where they mm -hmm. can take their phones and find out more uh -huh. information from oh, those yes. plaques too. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Now, yes. I, I know about mm -hmm. the Experimental Aircraft Association and they offer free mm -hmm. airplane mm -hmm. rides to youth and that sounds mm -hmm. really exciting. Who mm -hmm. qualifies for these and when are they offered and by whom? Yeah, that's our Young Eagles program, mm -hmm. and it's any youth 8 to 17 years of age with guardian or parent permission. Mm -hmm. And it's all volunteer pilots, licensed pilots with their own planes that give the free airplane rides. Mm -hmm. And usually there's a little pre-flight, and then the um, young person gets probably a 20-minute ride around Midland. Uh -huh. Oh, good, good. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like fa fabulous opportunity for our community, mm -hmm. and we thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm.